The Super Nintendo is home to some of the best RPGs of all time, including Mario's first foray into the genre and a legendary timeless classic. Today, join Steven, Jacob, and myself, Brandon, as we find out which one of these god-tier RPGs moves forward in our tournament. It's Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars versus Chrono Trigger on this episode of Video Game Fight Club. Um, uh, dude, but, this is one of those ones I, I'm, I, I'm very sentimental about both of these so, games. So, so on just the opposite side, this is, we'll just go ahead and say it out the, uh, off the bat, this is Mario RPG versus Chrono Trigger. These are the two games that unfortunately I had the least amount of playtime as a child and as an adult, and it stinks because especially, I'm not going to reveal my answer, but I one can, of these games on this category, I, can, uh, I, I don't know why I didn't play I can, that game I as can, a kid. I can answer all of your questions about these games in an unbiased manner, if that okay. is what it takes. Okay. I can, because I love both these. <laughs> Do you want to, though? That's the no, thing. No, I don't. Exactly. I love all these games. Exactly. Every game, every game on this I, bracket. Yeah, all of these are great. These just, are all uh, incredible games, and Contra's there, too. <laughs> it did, it did Contra's it. in there. It, it didn't make it. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, okay. All the, dude... So let's just let's just let's just go let's dive in let's dive in visuals let's get out the way go visuals I'm gonna say it Chrono Trigger I like the sprite work in this one there's nothing against Mario RPG and I I love the Mario franchise I love the new characters they add in this game but man some of the sprite work in Chrono Trigger is just really good very very expressive character yeah, sprites I very agree. well done environmental design. I agree with you guys, but um, I kind of I kind of feel like Mario. I like Mario a little better, and okay. maybe maybe it's a personal preference of mine. But I mean, I just feel like it's a lot darker. It's a lot darker. Sorry, I was doing some research. No, no, it's okay. Some, it's okay. some last minute research. Um, I like the the darker undertones of the Mario universe. Mm -hmm. I like how everything looks kind of smooth and doesn't really feel all that sprite. Well, let's talk about this. Let's talk about the fact that Super Mario RPG had 3D models yeah. similar to Donkey Kong kind yeah. of digitized into the right. game and yep. made into sprites. And they all kind of have this cool little, almost little plastic toy look yeah. to them. And yeah. those sprites are probably the most expressive character models on the entire Super Sim Nintendo. Yeah. It, it was a late stage game, wasn't it? Yes, it came out mm -hmm. like really late. It's one of the last games to come out for the Super Nintendo, yeah. if I remember correctly. Right. Yeah, keep talking about that. Yeah. Um, there is, uh, if we're talking about visuals specifically, there's a lot of really cool Mode 7 kind of 3D effects going on with Chrono Trigger. Mm -hmm. uh, like that race that you do with Johnny, mm -hmm. Johnny on the spot. Yeah, and then yeah, there's yeah, this uh, was, sorry, RPG was ninety six. But also I was in high school, holy cow. Yeah, but so also that's like borderline <laughs> Nintendo sixty four. Also, Super Mario sorry. RPG has some three D environments, like with the uh, the minecart ride as yeah. well. Uh, I think those are both really incredible looking games. I think Mmm, because they both have really great. I'm thinking about like battle system. Yeah, you know? I'm think. I think yeah. it's really well, cool. We can't out of mechanics. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Like, well, I'm talking about just how the battles are set up. The magic oh, effects. Oh, oh right. Sure, like the sure. magic effects, the character animations. You get a little bit more character animation from the Mario characters, but you get some cooler battle effects with um, Chrono Trigger because every battle you enter, the arena is not the same. Setup. No, it's not the same. Whenever you go into Mario, right left, the environment, yeah. like the like the actual place that you're in, is different. But it's still just the three characters lined up and fighting a row of bad guys. Mm -hmm. Uh, Final Fantasy style, whereas with Chrono Trigger, they're kind of, in some cases, moving, moving around, around that, and space. some of that we'll talk mm -hmm. about plays in the mechanics as well. But I thought I think it's refreshing to get into a battle, and your characters aren't just always all three lined up every single time. It's really interesting because like a character like will run out of the environment, and then you'll just assume the position. And also, you don't even there's no break in the screen either. So like whenever you go into battle, it doesn't go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just like it actually happens in real time yeah mm -hmm. which is impressive for, yeah, for, uh, that, for a game for, right? yeah, that, yeah. from a presentation standpoint mm -hmm. specifically without a doubt mm. so I, I gotta give the visuals in, in both these games you can see the enemies on yeah. screen too at uh, all times like I'm gonna, on the field yeah i'm gonna give a slight edge to uh RP, RPG? mario rpg for this oh, just, man. just because I, I i prefer that art style a little more um, nothing against chrono trigger it's very very good it's a very slight nod Man, I hate you. <laughs> Can I say tie? Can yeah, I tie? Sure. Can tie I say a draw? Dog. Sure. All right. Well, let's go. Let's go. Dude, it. I've oh, been. Wait. Take this. Uh, you can tie it. Tie it. I think. Can we? Oh wait. Can we talk about this? The Akira Toriyama artwork. 
for mm -hmm. Chrono Trigger. Like, all the characters are like look like they belong in the Dragon Ball universe, but they translate yes. it into sprite work really well, and That's you can see it, That's a great, especially yeah. in the enemy design specifically. Mm -hmm. And they did a really good job with it, a really, really good job. Oh, man. Uh, it's all right. We'll, tie, we'll, we'll tie, 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 tie. We're going to tie. We're going to tie. <laughs> Audio. Chrono Trigger. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Those songs are so good. I... Oh my gosh, Frog's theme. Frog's theme is really good. Oh, that scene. Lucas' theme is really good. Everything, mm -hmm. everything is really good. I think I agree. I think I agree. I mean, Mario dude, Mario but Mario. Yoko Shimomura's composition for Mario RPG uh -huh. is not, insane. It's not, no. not, oh. it's not knocking it. I, I think I'm going to go with RPG. I think I am. <laughs> Between the sound effects and the music, I think I'm going to go with RPG. But, but, but Mario RPG I has, like them sound effects. Mario RPG yeah. has yeah. Uh, some of those yeah. classic themes as well. Yeah. Some of those classic themes are, are are worked into that composition, like the -na 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 -na, and then mm -hmm. like Barrel Volcano and Inside the Earth and Pipe, uh, and then just that battle thing's really good. But man, Chrono Trigger <laughs> with really Yatsunori Masuda, supervised by Nobuo Uematsu, uh -huh. and it's some of the best. Uh, that's it, that's Mitsuda's best work is Chrono Trigger. Look, man, I, I will say against Chrono, there's some sus, there's some sus songs in there. Yes, there are. There's some songs that sound similar. <laughs> dun, 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 Robo, it's mainly dun, Robo's theme. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, what? Some Robo, what Robo's theme sounds, it sounds like, like uh, uh, Never Gonna Give You Up. Yeah, okay. Like, what did you say, though? He said sus. So, they're sus. Get out of here. No, I'm talking about He's trying to fit in. Yeah, I want to... Don't do it. Oh, no. How do you do? <laughs> how, do you, how do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> how do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> I thought you were trying to show Hey, let's make fun of Jacob because he's old! Yeah. That's what I thought you were doing. <laughs> no, I'm not that mean. <laughs> At least not right now. <laughs> uh, but you know, dude, I gotta... Mm. Both of these are incredible. Uh -huh. Without a doubt. These are both, like... I listen to these every day. Uh -huh. Both of them. I work out to some I of love the, mu the Where the Mushrooms... I don't Gene, know the, the forest one. But where the forest mushrooms? Thank you. Were you gonna say where the where the red mushrooms grow? <laughs> where the that red... is incredible. But it's just. <laughs> how about this? How where about the this? Where grow? How about this? How about this? Let's talk about it. How the music is played into the story. I feel like if I'm gonna have to give it an edge, it's how Chrono Trigger introduces its composition mm -hmm. into That's what's fair. going on on screen. And in Mario, that, I'm not saying Mario RPG doesn't, mm -hmm. but I just yeah. think Chrono Trigger does it a little bit better. And from a sound effect standpoint, uh, I really do enjoy the uh, the uh, the Super Mario RPG sound effects because they're very kind of cartoony. I Mario. love the cartoony like, ones. Like the, yeah. the whole way. When, when you, yeah, and when you uh, kick the Koopa shell, the... You yep. know, like the, the knock knock shell. Yeah. Uh, but Chrono Trigger, I mean, when you get that critical hit, and you hear that, shing, or you do oh, like man. the X strike, or the um, the the magic sound. I mean, I think, I think I would give the slightest edge sound effect wise to Mario, and but the music is gonna be Chrono oh, Trigger. Mm -hmm. But I gotta pick Chrono Trigger. All right, okay. mechanically, I'm gonna stick. This, I'm gonna stick with Mario RPG. This is where I'm the weakest because oh, I just didn't get in depth. Good. Like I stated at the beginning of the video, I just I'm didn't gonna try have not, enough hands on. To... I'm gonna try not to talk for three hours <laughs> on the mechanical Please. aspects of both <laughs> these games because the prowess is pretty amazing. I mean, let's just I'll start the conversation with the obvious one, the Sunday School answer, with the timing that shows up. In that Mario timing, RPG. that timing button push on mm -hmm. Super Mario RPG is insanely. Is so crazy ad for addictive. System. It feels so good to do it every time yep. you're rewarded for being mm -hmm. on on time with those button pushes. Each weapon having a different yep. button push yep. at yep. a yep. different time. Um, whereas Chrono Trigger, on the other hand, it's just you hit attack and you go. But mm -hmm. double and triple text by yeah. waiting for that active time bar to reach to the reach top. Off. Yeah. Maybe you want to wait for Frog and Chrono to get that X strike. Mm -hmm. And depending on where they are on the screen. Chrono's Cyclone might hit more enemies in certain areas. They both have different strategies. I think Chrono's is a little bit more strategic, mm -hmm. um, whereas Mario's a little bit more open for younger audiences. Again, it's good old dangle fun. It's a little it's, more... It's good old dangle fun. Mm -hmm. uh, they both are kind of open-ish worlds yeah. running around. Yeah. I would say that Mario RPG is a little more linear because you don't Fair. really have to go... 
backtrack nearly as much, whereas with Chrono Trigger, they, they cleverly return you to the different points in time. Mm -hmm. And the way they write that in the story is very interesting, and you're seeing areas that you couldn't get into previously. Mm -hmm. And I mean, eventually, they just cut you loose. They give you the uh, the, the epoch, and you just go wherever you want. Yeah. yeah. Um, but let's see, what else we're we talking mechanics? Um, once again, I'm trying to be 100% Fair. Yeah, no, uh, this is movies. hard. This is so hard. Um, I like the idea of how they implemented the Mario characters' abilities to their special attacks. Mm -hmm. Like Mario's jump ability. How cool is it that his jump is a yeah, special, attack. Is a special yeah. attack? And you yeah. can time that, too. Or the super jump where you can like keep going. <laughs> or his fireball. And a lot of these have been reflected in his moveset in... Um, mm -hmm. And, Sma and Smash Bros. And uh, Smash Bros. Yeah. Like the big, the big glove hand when he does the plumber's knuckle, <laughs> the sweaty um, knuckle, the sweaty knuckle. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then the um, like that's his mega fist for another one. Yeah. Um, if we're going off of just sheer again, and this is probably a bad way to base it, but this is all I have to work with. Is just I enjoy RPG a little more when it came to because going off that it just. Again, good old Daniel. It's Fawn. it's it's much but, simpler. But, it's simpler. Yes, but when those 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 elements fall into place on the board on when you're playing in Chrono, it it, it feels good on the soul. So oh, it, it does feel good. Well, I, let me let me say this. How about this? How about this? I think if I'm going to talk bad about Chrono Trigger, I think if you grind on Chrono Trigger, which you don't need to, the game is that that is probably one of the only JRPGs in really? this era that you don't have to grind. That you pretty much are set from the get go. Uh, but if you do, you can effectively like you can get really overpowered and just destroy everything in front of you. Mm -hmm. um, whereas with I think with Mario RPG, there is you can grind and you can get to that point as well. Um, but I feel like you're even if you get all the way leveled up, you, it's still pretty challenging. Yeah, I feel. Um, what do you say mechanically? What you saying? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give a slight edge of mechanically to Mario RPG just because I feel like that that quick timey stuff just so satisfying. It's such a good use of it. I'm I'm gonna say Chrono Trigger because not only are we talking about all these battle systems and all that, but yeah. you can also to not get into the story or anything, but you can you can beat the game in so many different points in this. true. You can actually go straight to the last you boss. Go, yeah, you go, uh, there's a bucket, there's a bucket in the end of time, which is like the hub world, that, like, he's, the, the, the guy is there, Gaspar, I think his name is, or is it Gaspar? I think it's Gaspar. He's like, uh, hey, d that bucket, that'll yeah, take you, that, that's, that's, gonna, that's gonna take you straight to Lavos. And you can, yeah, you can just do it. And there's actually a special ending if you do New Game Plus, which, by the way, yeah, I was say that, well, that, this yeah, game, I like, invented New, New Game, game Plus, plus. Yeah. which every game has these days. Mm -hmm. But if you do New Game Plus, and you can go to the first boss before you even go back in time. You can you can go straight to him right after, like, right before you go to the, the first time jump, which yeah. is very early in the game. And, you, and you can go and be, and it's just really clever how they wrote all that in there. There's a part, whenever you get to face Lavos, and like, you would think, oh, I'm scripted to lose here because yeah, you're gonna lose. You can win. You yeah. can actually win right there and finish the game and get one of like, uh, maybe a dozen endings or a little less. You know what, man? But that being said, I vote for Chrono Trigger for mechanics. No, I'm gonna I'm stay where I'm at. I'm gonna stay where I'm All at. Right. Just, I prefer the mechanics in Mario RPG by the slimmest of margins, but oh, man, that is really cool. Can we just cool. play, can we play know, that right, right now? Well, well, let's talk about the story. Chrono Trigger. I sound like you are when I said that, sorry. Chrono Trigger. Give me Chrono yeah. Trigger story. Okay, I was gonna say Chrono Trigger. Well, well let's not, dis nothing let's not no, discredit it. Nothing against Mario RPG. It's very unique. Very Mario, unique. Dude, Super Mario RPG is, to this day, one of the most unique takes on a Mario story because it literally starts how you think it would. Bowser kidnaps Princess, you go to his castle, you run up there, you try to beat him, and then like out of nowhere they throw you for a complete loop. Old bait and switch, man. Like they, a giant sword comes out of the sky, stabs the castle, they go flying, and then you're on a whole new adventure. You're like, wait, where's Bowser? Is Bowser's not responsible for this. Yeah. That's not his, his sword. And then like, Bowser ends up being on your team. And Bowser as a character is super cool. Like, he talks and he's expressive yeah, and he has right. he has a personality that you've never like Bowser's got a soft side. 
Who would have thought? I mean, I mean, they've touched more on that now, but back now, then, back that, then was that was a big of. deal. No, yeah, yeah. Brand new characters like Mallow. I was the, gonna say, the, look, where, where, where the Mallow look? Man, Mallow's great because when he do, he's in love for Mallow, man. He thinks he's a tadpole. Mm. He's actually a, a prince of a cloud kingdom, and whenever mm. he cries, it rains. That's cool, and he's like. He's your healer. Yeah. He's like, he has magical abilities. They, they're like, hey, this dude's got magic. Boom, there's your moveset. Super, Boom. Super unique. And then also Gino. Who doesn't know Gino? Gino, that whole, like, dude, everyone loves Gino. And he gets no love. He's, he should have been in Smash. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> just Look, saying. I love Sora. Would have rather Gino. I'm just saying. I would have. I would have taken Gino over him. But Gino deserves more love than but being a me. But also, a character. from a narrative perspective, me, me be, being able to go to all the different areas and talk to all the like, you get to explore the Mushroom Kingdom. There's a town full of Goombas, and they're good people. You're like, wait a minute. Am I am I am I right, am, right. I, am I a racist because yeah. I don't like Goombas? You like don't be the baddies. I just assumed Goombas were all Goombas. bad people. Goombas. Hey, Goombas. Goomba. Goomba. You don't want to be stomping. If you, don't, if you don't watch our show, I'm going to turn you to a Goomba. But you get to go to all the different... And they expand on that in the Paper Mario series. Right. But it started here. And from the from a narrative perspective, being able to talk to all these different characters, mm-hmm. you go to Monstro Town, and then they're like, they're like oh, crap, Bowser, dude. I, 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 I'm sorry, I ran away. Like, I I was part of your troop. But look, I settled down. I got kids. Yeah. And I, I opened up a shop. Literally, that happens. His kids jump up on the counter. A Goomba. Yeah. And he's like, do you want to buy some weapons, man? <laughs> And, like, he sells you one of Bowser's coolest weapons. Yeah. That's really awesome, but all that being said, Chrono, knives. <laughs> Chrono Trigger takes the time travel element and mm-hmm. runs with it. It's Look, it's not realistic time travel rules. They they know they're bending the rules with it. It's They have fun with it. And all the different, like, paradoxes you go through, all the different abilities you have, like... We talk about Ocarina of Time going going to the kid part, doing something, you can return. Dude, Chrono Trigger did that a thousandfold. Well, before let's talk Ocarina about spoiler did. alert. Your protagonist, you go, oh, wait, oh yes, wait, spoiler wait, alert. Wait, what happened? He's dead. Yeah, Chrono can end the story, yeah. can die, and he. Die! You can finish the game and never give him, get him back. Get back. Yeah. Depending on how, how you, you play, play the game. Or else you will die! And, and there's a, a bonus party member yep. that you can also miss out on yep. if you don't play it correctly. And you can get a lot of different... You can play through this game multiple times, I feel like, and, and get a different outcome and play it differently to a certain extent. Whereas Mario, when you play through it, you're just playing yeah. the same game. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, man. Um, I'm going to be totally honest with everybody here. You know, I never finished uh, Chrono Trigger. I've played... played. Did you know that spoiler? played a good bit through it. Yeah. yeah okay, I mean, good. That, Jeez. I mean, that, I've never experienced it in the game, but I know it. I mean, it's a... Also, whenever he comes back, whenever you know, if, you, if you do get him back... He doesn't have to be your party leader. Mm-hmm. In fact, yeah. it's debatable who the main character of Chrono uh, Trigger is. Yeah. I think it's Frog, but you know that's just my mm-hmm. own opinion. But so, man, like I was just so engrossed in the story, man. I was just so caught up in it with the with with however long I played it. I will really need to sit down one day and finish it, dude. There is some incredible rewards for doing side quests in Chrono Trigger, not just yeah. from like an item standpoint. But from a narrative, how you're mm-hmm. rewarded, like Luca's side quest, I don't want to say what happens because it's super special. But man, it like it, it touches on things in, in that it's just really mature narrative. Yeah, it's something that it's not like like mature in the way of like gore and nasty, and, but like there are really serious elements in Chrono mm-hmm. Trigger that I feel like you could really enjoy and you would get the most out of if you play it. To its fullest. Mm. And what are we talking about? Story? Sorry. Chrono Trigger. <laughs> <laughs> I've already put the slash. What that? I've already put the slash mark. All right. Sorry, man. Here's here's a tough one. Uh, oh no, this is not a tough one. Uh, do, do they stand the test of time? I, I they, they both do. I can't. Absolutely. I, yeah. I can't, without I can't, a doubt. I can't argue in favor of one being out of this category. I'm gonna say that's a tie. Yeah, they I, both. I, they I, both. Yeah. Absolutely. You can totally go back and pick them up and play them. Anytime. And they're both yep. very unique in that sense. Like, However, it's not like other. It's not like there are other. You know, there are other Final Fantasies contending with that itch to scratch to go play Final Fantasies. You know, there are other Zeldas that'll itch that scratch. But there's one Chrono Trigger. There's one Mario RPG. Sure, they got Paper Mario. But come on, man. Paper Mario and Mario RPG are not the same. However, man. one of these gets re-released more than the other. True. Chrono Trigger. I don't Chrono know why. Trigger. Why is Mario RPG not on the Switch? It's, it's gotta be some some kind of issue with Square. It's gotta be. 
Uh, where does it get re released at? Some place I know is Chrono Trigger. Yeah. Oh, it's on the phone. It's on Steam. It's oh on, yeah, yeah. I thought it's on Nintendo. Oh, about it. I was no. like, it's on Nintendo. It's I on the game DS. Game. No, it's just Mario RPG. It's on the DS. It's on the SNES. Is it on DS? Yeah. Oh, Mario yeah. RPG. It's on the PS One. Uh, PS4. Mario RPG was only on Super <laughs> Nintendo. Wii Virtual Console, which is not available anymore. Mm -hmm. I think it was on the Wii U. Um, and. It's not uh, on SNES, Switch. SNES Classic. That's it's not it. on Switch. It's not on but anyway, Switch. What, was, what, what makes it revolutionary for its time? Which one makes that? Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger had the dream team of developers. I'm talking. Yeah, I gotta go with them. Sakaguchi, the Dragon Quest guy that I can't remember his name mm -hmm. right now. Nobuo Uematsu, yes, yes, Nori Mitsuda, Akira Toriyama on artwork. Yeah. It gotta... was the dream team, but. I, I think Chrono Trigger to this day is the most like concise, like all like from start to finish, just consistently great in quality JRPG Finish you can games. ever play ever mm -hmm. at this point. Yeah. There's no bloat in that game. No. Uh -huh. There's no padding. How long do you think a running Chrono Trigger is? Ooh. You think what, thirty hours? It's like no, 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 no. It's like no, no. 15, 15. It's like 15, 15. It's like fifteen yeah. to seventeen. Was okay. If you was if you longer. if you know what you're doing yeah. and you follow a guide or, or whatever, and it's like that for a reason because you can go back and replay it. Mm -hmm. And I think I think Mario RPG is a little bit on the no, shorter side. Mario Super Mario RPG is the perfect starter JRPG. If you have a, a oh, friend yeah, 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 who's yeah, never yeah. played a JRPG, say like, play this game. Yeah, that's play a good segue. Um, what represents the console the best? That's tough because I, I'm gonna say Mario RPG, but only because Chrono Trigger pops up every now and then on other consoles. I've, I've got to say Chrono. I'm also gonna say Chrono Trigger because of what I just stated about it being like tit for tat, just a perfect experience. Yeah. And if you're talking, the Super Nintendo is the JRPG machine. Yes. It There's is. a bunch of them, and. I guess this might reveal how I feel about other games in the future, but Chrono Trigger's the best one of them. And it, it's, if you got to yeah. pick one to represent the JRPG crew on the, it's got to be Chrono Man. Yeah, and there, there's there's a there's a pedestal of, of SNES games, and I mean obviously all sixteen of these are on it, but that one's at the top. When oh, people think good. about when think I don't, about one of the better the best yeah. games on this console, and I don't Chrono disagree with that. It's just the only reason I'm sticking with Mario RPG. And the only it got reason, Mario in it. Well, no, well that, but I mean also because. You know, you're only going to find it on the SNES other than emulation through, like, um, SNES Classic, Virtual Console, or anything like that. Like, Chrono Trigger is... You could... If you wanted to play Chrono Trigger, you can go f acquire it legally right now. If you wanted to play mm -hmm. Super Mario RPG, you cannot acquire it legally right now. The yeah, only place you're going to really find it is on something that is a, that is based off of the Super Nintendo. Even when it's on that's other a, consoles, it's based point. off of the Super Nintendo. That's a fair point. And so that's the only reason why. But I understand why you guys are saying yeah. that, the, saying Chrono Trigger. I'm not disagreeing with you. It's just the, that, to me, if you're going to be the face of the console, you need to be the face of the console on that console only. And that's the only reason why I'm taking um, no, it's Super Mario RPG. What? what? Well, 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 let's, let's, just, let's, just, let's just dive right into it, boys. Boy, we gotta put his glasses on for Who's that. Who's the winner? Is it vote time? It's vote time. I'll go first. I don't want to go yet. I'll go first. Okay. Um, I went back and forth with this one, man. And I... I... <laughs> you you sacrificed yourself upon that pedestal. I did, I know. You there's, dove in. Here's there's the so thing, much man. more skin in the game this, this season, I, know, I feel yeah, like. Uh, there is. I, I am picking Super Mario RPG uh -huh. only because it's my bias. I gotta I gotta put it out there. It's my bias. I enjoyed it much more than I did it's Chrono Trigger. Game. It's yeah. a fantastic game. There's nothing against Chrono Trigger, but man, there's just so many iconic game like I mean I mean gameplay mechanics you know visuals that just stand out to me like when I think like when I think of the Super Nintendo and I think of all the games that I enjoy I think of this one included in that in that you know that whole section I, I don't think of Chrono Trigger can I tell a quick story I story, did not man. grow up with Chrono Trigger I did grow up with Super Mario RPG and I remember going to any whatever rental store we went to mm. And I would rent, like, I would go and return more RPG, and I would just give, they would give it right back to me, and I'd rent it again, because I liked it so much. Yeah. I didn't know Chrono Trigger existed. In fact, I don't know if, if they even had it. 
But I, I just remember loving that was Mario a RPG. that was a yeah. rental one for mm-hmm. me. Um, Same here. I got it from Diamond Video for the first time. Diamond Video. Diamond, 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 Diamond Video. Video. But that was one of the ones that we re- re- rented on repeat out yeah. of all the games that I've oh, rented up from that console that never owned. Yep. Um, do you want me to go? Yes. Do you want to be the deciding factor? Sure. Okay. Chrono Trigger. Uh, there's no wrong answer uh, there's here. There's no wrong answer. This is like, hey, these are both really delicious ice cream Can we treats. Yeah. Which, is, which one do you prefer, both. I guess? Can I don't we, know. Can we go back to what you were okay, mentioning earlier? Was... Before I played Persona 5, that was really my big segue into turn-based. And you, mm-hmm. and you know this. Listeners may, may, may not. But uh, before I got into that, I don't know if y'all remember, but you guys recommended playing Mario RPG because we had just gotten the SNES or the S yeah the SNES Classic, and I was like flirting with turn base and like why don't you go do that and I jumped into it because that was the one but again I said said at the beginning of the cast uh, or the recording these are the two games that I have the least amount of play time in as a kid and as an adult so I went back and played it I was like okay this is pretty fun oh this time is really fun and it was fun 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 but the more I go back and I study about Chrono when I go back and I replay it and I see the systems like you mentioned the way it's 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 one of those I'll use the, the example of, of um, the Owl Wilds. It's like a Swiss pocket watch, right? Of mm. a game. It's so lovingly crafted together and it just culminates mm. into this wonderful special product, mm. which is a shame because it only exists here. Yeah. There's no other. I mean, there's the Chrono Cross. Play the PS1 version's yeah, okay. Yeah, but like that right there is. Man, that's a jewel. So I have to say Chrono Trigger. Mm. Something I forgot to mention about Mario RPG <laughs> is um, it has some really clever writing. It's written really well. The dialogue, yeah, and the characters. That is true. Um, so I'm, so, I'm sorry the burden lays at your feet, sir. There <laughs> is all right. If we're gonna talk about if I'm, if I'm talking about both these games from like a Brandon's personal choice, like bias perspective, I don't think that there is like I literally can put either one of these in right now. And probably play it start to finish and one like just sit down and play mm-hmm. the whole game all the way through. Um, mm, mm, man, I don't want to do this. I'm this is start, one of those decisions. That, I'm about like, to start crying right here. One of those decisions where like next week or next month you could change it around. It could be the other way. No, I, th- I think it has to be Chrono Trigger. <laughs> I, yeah. I, that is. Mm, that that game is just crafted in in such a way. I don't know if there will ever be a game mm. made like that. It is literally, pun intended, a timeless classic. Mm-hmm. It is insane how good that game is. Yeah. Like I don't know how I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm like getting chilled. I'm about to start crying on camera right now. I'm just can't, <laughs> I don't like these. I don't like doing this. <laughs> Whose idea was to do this show? Uh, Chrono Trigger is just. It, it is. I mean, if you don't like JRPGs, then this doesn't. This isn't the statement. For like just someone who doesn't like that, but if you like JRPGs, I think this is the all-time best yeah. ever. Well, it, are there like can you go pick up a JRPG right now and play it and it be a technical better experience? Of course, but like mm, it's just they broke boundaries mm-hmm. with their creativity on this piece of hardware that yeah. like we our phones are hundreds of thousands of times more advanced than this Super Nintendo sitting here and they were able to do things and get around with it and get their vision on it mm. it just blows my mind mm. when I play that game I just have a smile on my face and it warms my soul it gets in my soul and it pours tickles hot gravy all over it and gravy and, you landed on gravy and massages are you hungry it. no not really I don't know just, <laughs> okay Chrono Trigger wins yeah, yeah. sure Dude, why can't both of these move up as winners? This is way too difficult. Chrono Trigger moves up as our winner. Please give us a like, comment down below, and console me because I'm really, really upset. Oh yeah, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.